What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Godsey for Justin Godsey TV. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Tonight, guys, we're here talking about TNA as they, as they had just landed a new television deal with Destination America. Yes, Destination America has been the TV provider that has decided to step up, take TNA under their wing, and can have them continue professional wrestling on the Destination America channel. I am very excited for this for TNA, but then again, will anybody have the opportunity to start watching TNA on a daily basis, even if you do not have the channel? So let's go, let's go right into this. Before we get into that, I want to let you guys know to make sure you can go check out yesterday's video. I made a pretty much like an urgent video for you guys to let you guys in on what's going to be happening with my website and everything about this. It's like one of those uh, where am I at kind of videos, and you know, I, I made a big announcement that I'm going in a whole new different direction when it pertains to my writing. I am now done covering, you know, wide, wide span, you know, sports coverage, football, baseball, basketball, and writing. But in video format, I am not done, not even close to being done, because sports is a big passion of mine, and this is something that's not going to be taken away from me, you know, no, no matter who you are. I'm continuing to talk about it. I'm going to be continuing to discuss it with you guys. So make sure you guys just you know go and check out that video, and please make sure you leave your comments on that video down below. But like I said, guys, TNA has decided to, you know, the Spike TV deal was already running out. It was just announced a few months ago that TNA is going to be no longer under the Spike TV banner. It really does suck because, you know, Spike TV has done TNA so well, you know, during the years that they've been, in, you know, been together. You know, Spike TV has always been a great channel of mine because I'm always watching, I think it was MMA After Dark, and then there was also... You know, Bellator right after WRTNA. Um, that, that that's something that I've always loved. I love the Spike TV brand. You know, Spike TV gave you know TNA you know you know room to breathe. It's not like the WWE, which is under the USA Network, where the WWE is just pertaining to being you know that teddy bear of professional wrestling. You know, TNA or TNA has always been that legitimate company or promotion that you can actually go to for real storylines, legit storylines. You're not seeing you know the same people. <clears throat> like John Cena or Randy Orton, um, you get to see what TNA has to offer from a multiple variety. You can go in different storylines that, that are still very great. You also got to look at you know the kind of matches that they've been doing. You're not seeing John Cena versus Randy Orton on a day-to-day -day basis, but you know what TNA does offer more extreme matches. WWE has gone a different route and being you know more safe, which is great. There is more safe, but t TNA always but uh, throws out great uh, great matches. People who think that TNA is a joke, you know, shame on you. You guys are still, you know, caught up in the time of professional wrestling with, you know, this current day WWE bullcrap where you have um, a guy who talks about being a lemon head, um, then you have a rabbit in the ring, then you have a gator or, you know, horn swaggle dressed up as a gator and call him gator roll, gator roll, gator roll. I mean, what kind of bullcrap is that? You know, that is what the WWE has turned to and it's, it's a damn shame. I want to see more, you know, success from the WWE, but right now, with with the kind of crap that John Cena has been going through, with this kind of content that WWE has been dishing out with the freaking alligator and a freaking bunny in the ring, this is just going to hell. Where you can go to watch TNA, where you can watch guys like Bobby Roode, Jeff Hardy, the Dudleys, the Wolves. You know, th that is real wrestling right there. Samoa Joe, Kurt Angle is still the man. I mean, look, you know, that is real wrestling. It's just TNA has really put the WWE, you know, pretty much out of its misery when it pertains to legitimate wrestling. But the only problem is with TNA is, you know, how are they going to able to continue their operations if they don't have a legitimate TV deal? They just can't go straight to the being like one of the best, you know, company or promotions and, and you know, wrestling wrestling to just not, you know, being able to, you know, make ends meet and, you know, have to go to the independent circuit. That's something that's going to be very tough, but they were able to land a TV deal with Destination America. Um, I am not too familiar with the kind of channel that Destination America uh, has to dish out. From what I really do know from, like, reading their Twitter and everything, it's all about, you know, the, the it sounds like more like the USA never, but a little bit more political, obviously, because it says, you know, Destination America. Um, they said it's more of, like, an outdoors... Um, you know, people, stories, and stuff like that. It seems pretty interesting, but can the T can TNA survive on Destination America? That's something that we're gonna have to wait and find out. I'm really looking forward to you know seeing what they have to do. They do have a couple of interesting shows that really comes to my mind. Something that will actually. 
I'm actually on the website right now. I really do apologize. But there are actually a couple of shows that seems pretty interesting on this channel. But it's something that I will not watch. Because professional wrestling is, is very important to myself. And TNA is going to be the only thing I'll be actually be watching on Destination America. But will TNA still have TNA rights when it pertains to, you know, their, the, you know, their language and everything? I know when you're on a, you know, America channel, when your name is branded with America, you want something that's going to be, you know, put out and, you know, have the, you know, the best foot first. Um, that's something that's that's gonna that's another question you guys want to look out for. Will TNA still have you know the rights to say you know have a little bit more a little bit more uncensored? Well, WWE has been silently getting into saying you know bitch and you know ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Whatever the case may be, WWE has been able to slip away with those with the USA Network. But will Destination America be a little bit more dense on that? We'll just have to wait and see. But needless to say. TNA has signed with Destination America starting in 2015. They will now be on the Destination America channel. Make sure you guys check your local listings. Um, I still have to check my local listings to be honest with you guys. Because I have, uh, what is it, the Century League Prism. Um, that's my that's my cable company right now. So hopefully that, you know, Destination America is on there so I can t continue to watch the best wrestling out there today. And that is none other than total nonstop action.